Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm here with the Raspberry Pi 3 running Recall Box, and I wanna show you how to set up the MSX emulator. Now, a lot of you out there may not even know about the MSX, but if you're into retro gaming, you need to try it out. It's a really awesome console. It was released in Japan in 1983. Never really made it to the States. Some European countries got it. Tons of great games, and for the most part, most of the good, good games for the MSX are made by Konami. You will need a keyboard to control MSX. MSX was a... I'll put a picture on screen now. This is the console. So as you can see, there is no controller. It is a keyboard-esque console, like a Tandy or a ZX Spectrum, and many other systems were like this back in the day. I run my games from a USB stick. And I made a video on how to do that. It's on screen now. You can click on this picture or it's in the description. If you, I'm also going to show you how to install this to your SD card over network. Before we go to the computer and start transferring everything we need, we need to get our IP address and our host name for our recall box. My Raspberry Pi is connected to the same network as my computer that I'm going to transfer my ROMs from. It needs to be on the same network. You can either be on Wi-Fi on both, Ethernet on one, vice versa. It doesn't matter as long as it's the same network. Press start on your controller and scroll down to network settings. As long as you're connected with Ethernet or Wi-Fi, you should see the status connected and your IP address. Your IP address is going to be different from mine, but um, I recommend writing this down or taking a picture of it or just flat out remembering it. We also have our host name. We can access our recall box with our host name, but we grabbed our IP just in case the host name will not connect. We're going to head over to the computer now. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the blue MSX core. It's the easiest one to use within recall box. RetroPie is much easier to set up MSX. This isn't rocket science. It's very easy. We need to download a few things on our computer. I'm using a Windows 10 computer. Let's go over there now. So the first thing you really need are some MSX games or MSX ROMs. I have a few here on my desktop. Now the file extension on MSX ROMs are a little different. MX2 files are for the MSX2. MX1 files are for the MSX1. Now if you are named ROM, some of them may work and some of them may not. So you need to research which games came from which system and you may need to rename them. So let's say Salamander 1987 Konami. You can rename this to MSX1 or MSX2 depending on when this was released. Some of them do work with the ROM extension, but if it doesn't work, you can try to rename it. We're going to leave these like this for now and just see if they work. Before we can get MSX working, we need the MSX BIOS, and sometimes it is a pain to find the correct BIOSes. You need the correct checksum, you need the right BIOS for it to work. And the easiest way to do this with the recall box is to go to your browser, and this link will be in the description, is to download Blue MSX. In my opinion, this is the best MSX emulator ever created. Now I know some of you may argue with me, but I love Blue MSX and it works great for me. We're going to download Blue MSX 2.8.2 full and we'll need to install it on our computer. It's only 14 megabytes, not too bad. We'll start to install Blue MSX and this needs to be done. We need the files from the Blue MSX install in order for our MSX emulator to run on our recall box. I'm going to close my browser here. It's successfully been installed. Close. We need to navigate to where Blue MSX is installed. Now on my computer, I can go to this PC. I'll open up my local hard drive. Program files. Blue MSX. From here, we're going to need two folders out of here. We need the databases and we need the machines folder. So I'm just going to copy the databases and the machines. You can hold control on your keyboard and click on these. Right click, copy, 
and I'm just going to paste them on my desktop for easy access. So now that we have databases and machines on our desktop, we can go to our recall box SD card or our ROM install location. Now what I do is I run mine from a USB stick. And this is my 64 gigabyte USB stick that I put all my games on. Inside of here, you'll have a recall box folder. BIOSes and ROMs are the two folders we are going to focus on now. Open up your BIOS folder. Drag your database and machines into your BIOS folder. Let them copy over. We need these two folders inside of our BIOS folder. So my databases and machines are copied into my BIOS folder. We'll open our ROMs folder. And I need to get my MSX games up. And I'll just snap both of these. Inside of the recall box SD card or your ROM locations, there are three folders. We're not going to use MSX1 or MSX2. We are just going to use MSX. Now, Blue MSX will run pretty much every MSX revision. So we're just going to be focusing on this. Open MSX and just drag and drop the ROMs you want into this folder. They're very small, so it should do it almost automatically. If you're not using a USB to run your games from and you're just using your SD card, we need to access the recall box over our network. It's very simple. We can just open up any file explorer and at the top in our quick access bar, we can type in backslash, backslash, all capital, recall box, and press enter. Now if they're connected to the same network, your Raspberry Pi and your computer, you should see a share folder. Open the share folder, and inside we have the same folders we just saw on my USB stick. BIOSes, you need to drag your databases and machines into the BIOS folder, drop them in there, let them copy over. Back up, ROMs, same way here with your games. Take your games, find your MSX folder, copy your games, and drag them into this folder. Let them copy. If you are unable to access your Raspberry Pi or your recall box with typing in the backslash backslash all capital recall box, in the search bar or the quick access bar here, we can always use our IP address. So I'm going to type in backslash backslash 192-168-10-108. Now this is my IP for my Raspberry Pi. Yours will be different. That's why I had you look it up. Press enter. We've accessed our share folder. You can do the same. Your databases and machines Go in the BIOS folder, in your ROMs, go in ROMs, MSX. And that's it guys, we're going to go back to the Raspberry Pi now, and we're going to play some MSX games. A lot of people have had trouble running MSX on Recallbox, and that's because we needed those two folders, the databases and the machines folder from Blue MSX. We're going to go to the Pi now and play some awesome MSX games. So immediately when you go back to your Raspberry Pi, you will not see the MSX logo. You need to reload your game list. Now, I'm using a USB stick, so I have to do it a bit differently. But if you transfer it over network, you can press start on your controller, game settings, scroll all the way down, and update games list. After you update games list, your MSX logo, and your ROMs should show up on the front end here. If you're using a USB stick like me, we need to plug our USB stick in, and we need to press start, scroll all the way down to quit. The update games list does not work when you're using a USB stick for some reason. It's a little weird, so restart system, yes. All right, as soon as we reboot here, we see our MSX logo underneath MSX, MSX2, and MSX2+. Plus. Nine games available. 
You can start this with your controller, but most of these games need to be played with the keyboard, and a lot of games have different key mappings. So you really need to do your research when you choose a game to play. You may just have to experiment with the controls. If you want to use your keyboard to navigate, automatically on a recall box when you plug in your keyboard, your arrow keys will navigate the menus, and your A button will be your A button. So we're going to start Salamander. This was a .rom extension, and let's see if it works. So it definitely looks like it's going to work at the .rom extension. Like I said before, some of the games I had trouble playing with the .rom extension, it's really trial and error. So for this game, your arrow keys do navigate the menu. And I'm going to have to find here, Z starts. Now this could be different for all games, so... So, Konami may have had their own mapping scheme, and Z may start most of their games. I'm using X to fire. With this game here, as you see at the bottom, I'm collecting these power-ups. And if I press my Z button now, I will have a new weapon. So, Z is start, X is fire, your arrow keys are navigate. There's... Not much else to the game, as you can see, this is an old school game. This game runs really well within the MSX Blue MSX emulator on the recall box. Now you may have trouble running this if you're using a Raspberry Pi 1 or a Raspberry Pi 0, but the 2 and the 3 handle it very well. So you see how the the ground is moving, it's um, ticking along. That's normal, that's how the MSX ran. Since I've been used to playing very smooth games over the years, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but that's how the game is, should run, that's how it's supposed to run. The MSX was not working with much processing power, so to exit the game, just press escape on your keyboard and you'll be brought back to the recall box front end. If you're using a controller, press your hotkey and your start button. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you set up and run MSX games on your Raspberry Pi running recall box. I really appreciate you guys watching and the support I get from you guys. If you have any requests, I will try my hardest to get it made. It may take a day or two, but I will do it. I said in a previous video, I've been waiting for RetroPie 4.0 stable to release. So I'm messing with Recall Box right now. This build is a little older. Hopefully they will update also around the same time RetroPie does. I do have a comparison video coming up. It's going to cover all kinds of stuff with comparing Recall Box to RetroPie. And right now, I'm just doing research on both of them. By playing both of the emulators to see which one works better, I love RetroPie because I do not mind going in and setting different parameters to make the game run better. Recall Box does seem to run games better out of the box, but once you get into RetroPie and start configuring everything to your liking, you can get RetroPie to fly. That's it. Like always, thanks for watching.